Hello, my name is Fred David. Thank you for being here today. I'm co-author of this strategic management textbook published, published by Prentice Hall. Thank you for studying strategic management using this textbook. Thank you for, for becoming excited about strategic management. My co-author and I developed a series of short videos, one for each chapter in the book, to describe the, why the particular chapters are important. And our focus on this segment is on chapter four, the internal assessment a key part of developing an effective strategic plan. So why is chapter four in, important? Why is the internal assessment important? The bottom line reason it's so important is that organ all organizations, profit, nonprofit, governmental, are forced to make tough choices with regard to strategies. Many alternative strategies that could be very beneficial will not be able to be selected due to scarce resources. No firm has sufficient resources. Those tough choices are made on a prioritized list of internal key factors. And chapter four describes what the internal areas that need to be examined are. And they basically are management, marketing, finance, MIS, R&D, human resource management, production, operations, legal. Anything the firm has control over needs to be assessed with regard to identifying strengths and weaknesses. Because a key aspect of developing a, an effective strategic plan is to capitalize on your strengths, to take advantage of opportunities, and to continually improve on the weaknesses. So what is the collective judgment of the management managers with regard to what are the most important strengths and weaknesses? So chapter four talks about financial ratios, break-even analysis, value chain analysis, benchmarking, outsourcing, all topics covered in chapter four that play into the need for businesses to perform an internal assessment effectively, a key step in the formulation of alternative strategies. Also described in chapter four is the need to develop a, an internal factor evaluation matrix. It's similar to the, the external factor value matrix or the EFEM in, in chapter three, but here we're focused on internal things a firm can control. And we're going to be identifying and prioritizing their, their major and key strengths and, and weaknesses. We'll again have a weight column and a rating column and then a weighted score ranging from one to four. So chapter four describes how businesses are doing this. And as we've talked about earlier, success rarely happens by accident. A student wouldn't, wouldn't obtain a BBA or an MBA degree by accident. Businesses are the same way. Success is typically based primarily or at least partly on having an effective game plan, if you will, strategic plan. And the internal assessment is a critical component, critical component of that factor, of, of that need. Each chapter in the text has a set of review questions at the end. Please review those. One question at the end of chapter four, for example, is would you ever pay out dividends when your firm's annual net profit is negative? And the answer to that would be Certainly, wouldn't want to make a habit of that, but it could be a one-year anomaly or whatever. So if a firm has a history of paying dividends, you probably perhaps would, even in the face of, 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 of being unprofitable in one year. So a whole range of things in Chapter 4, internal, that is controlled by the firm, collect, analyze, assimilate data in the form of an internal factor valuation matrix, and let's see... As, as that provides a foundation for us moving on into chapters five and six, where we'll actually be generating strategies and selecting among those strategies. And, and the success is going to hinge on us having an effective game plan. Much like as we spoke before, much like an athletic team needs to show up with a good game plan, usually to have, to have a chance to, for success. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for studying strategic management and being excited about strategic management. Let's move on to chapter five now and look at a short video about why chapter five is important in, in, in the textbook. Thank you.